the man credited for bringing major music talent to Charlotte is asking, where's the money this morning? After spending 40 years in the music business, Larry Farber had to get really creative when his new jazz club was shut down during COVID-19. Two years later, he wrote a book and came up with a plan to make his new club and the book a success. Wake Up Charlotte's Michelle Bowden has his story. Larry Farber has worked with all the musical greats. We're talking Aretha Franklin to Tony Bennett. So when COVID temporarily shut his new jazz club down, he wrote a book. I've been in the music world since I was 12. Music is all Larry Farber has ever known. So after four decades of working as a producer and talent manager, he decided to open a jazz club in the heart of Uptown. We opened November 2019. We're really off to a great start. And then February, March, all of COVID uh, hit our, our world and we had a shutdown uh, first of March, really till June. The future of Middle Sea Jazz was unsure at best. Then even when we opened up in June of 2020, um, we were treading water just to keep the momentum alive, keep music alive until things uh, got better. Farber used the time away from the club to check something else off his bucket list. Because this little kid from Charlotte got to meet the Tony Bennett's and Aretha's and Dinah Ross's, I was the person that would go to parties or be with my friends at lunch or dinner. And they would ask me to tell the story about when Darius Rucker did this or when Jackson Brown got Maurice Williams on the stage or James Brown wanting to get cash at a performance. The book is now out and the club is now thriving. We knew that we would have to tread water through COVID, but we gained traction, people came. We still had a place for musicians to play. And now we are on the map with regard to some of the biggest national names in the jazz world. Farber says some of the proceeds from his book are actually going to a local nonprofit that gets instruments to kids who can't afford them. He says he's hoping to keep the music in Charlotte alive. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte. It's a great raid note in memory. It's had a chance to read. I've known Larry for a long time. He's a great wow. friend. And I'll tell you what, the music that he's brought to the city, what he's done for the city, I mean, he's put it on yeah. the map. And the book kind of details his history. If you're in the music, he's a great keyboard player, started as a keyboard player, a lot of rock bands, and then brings all these people to, to Middle C. So if you have a chance to read the book or head to Middle C, you will not be disappointed. Fun place to I tell you, if you can make a jazz club work in the middle of the pandemic Absolutely, and, and yeah. still end up thriving on the other end, that's impressive. It shows what an amazing job he's done. Clearly. Way to go, Larry Farmer. Right.